Hey guys, what's up today? It's such a perfect day to work out. This is going to be a full body Tabata strength workout. So we are gonna really hit all different areas of the body and you're gonna need a couple tools that create a little bit of strength training or resistance training for you. They may look a little bit different than what I have and that's totally fine. So I have my 14 pound ball, 14 pounds. And I also have a 20 pound kettlebell. So if you have a couple different size weights, you have a couple different uh, maybe medicine balls of some sort, but you wanna have a good amount of weight. It should be at least medium to heavy weight so that we can really work on strength while also having our heart rate up through this Tabata style format where every exercise is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest, and we're gonna keep cycling through. So you're gonna notice your heart rate's gonna be up quite high throughout with only very minimal rest. So those 10 seconds is critical for you to hone in on nice, slow, deep breaths, forcing that exhale out your mouth so that you can recover just a little bit in between. So let's get warmed up, let's get rocked and rolling and into this workout. So nice deep breath in, exhale, big breath in, open it up. Last time, reach it up. Open those arms up and let's just rotate around, opening up that, that torso. Big reach across your body to open up the back of your shoulders. Make sure you're pivoting through those feet. Awesome, awesome, you got it. All right, you're gonna bend those knees now and reach over so that we're opening up the side of your body. All part of your core, right? And your core is going to support all of your movement in this workout and really every workout and movement that you do in life. That's why I am such a huge, huge advocate for core training. All right, let's pick up those knees. Opposite arm coming in front. This is gonna be 30 minutes, you know the drill. 30 minutes, bing, bang, boom, get it in. Work hard, move on with your day, right? and then finding little pockets throughout your day to create movement, whether it's walking on your lunch break or taking your dog for a walk or a jog in the neighborhood, maybe once, maybe twice a day. All right, let's change this to a little bit of a jog right in place. Relaxing those shoulders. You know what I always say, get those sillies out. All right, shake them out, shake them out. All right, when you're ready, let's pick those knees up a little bit higher. Nice and high. Keeping those arms right close to your hips. Nice deep breaths. All right, let's point those knees down to the floor. Kick your butt, heels up, knees pointed down. That's it. Let's change this to jumping jacks. Pressing those arms up or right around the side. Keep those knees soft. All right, when you're ready, switch those feet front and back. Nice job. Always keeping those knees and really any joints slightly bent to protect them. Three, two, one. Let's hop on one foot and switch, warming up those ankles, and switch, and switch, push, 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 one more time on each side, switch one more time, awesome, and release, Woo! Just feel those calves, all right, let's alternating kicks, try to keep those legs nice and straight, Loosening up those hamstrings in the back. That's it. A few more. Last one. All right, open up those legs. Let's lunge it side to side. Let's add those arms in. Bringing that opposite arm across the body. You got it. Get a 
back to the center. So we're gonna drop our hips, drop, and then lift. And drop, as you lift, drop your chest one more time. Lift, drop your chest, hang your head down, and roll it up, nice and slow. Always taking your time, one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back, start to heel toe, feet until they're closer together. And let's find that power pose. You're going to drill. Close your eyes, shoulders back and down, finding that perfect posture. <sighs> Getting your mind and your body synced up. Focusing on your intention for this workout, knowing that you have the power to push through every obstacle and every struggle, not only here in this workout, but in your day, in your life, whatever is getting in the way, whatever's giving you trouble, focus on it and know that you can get through it no matter where you are at, no matter who you are, your age, your height, your weight, your this or that, you have that inner superhero. So release it, release it, unleash it when you need to. Take that in, nice deep breath. Exhale, open those eyes, reach it up. All right, we're gonna get into this. All right, pick which weight you're ready for, right? So something in the middle, it should be medium at least. I'm gonna start with my ball, okay? What we're gonna do first is we are going to do alternating lunges, right? So nothing super crazy. We're gonna go forward, right? We're gonna drop and come back. So we're just gonna start here. We didn't do many of this in the warm up. So 20 seconds, holding that up nice and tall, that keeps your chest open. Ready? 20 seconds, that's it, here we go. Alternate. Right, so the first set, we're holding the ball here. Second set, we're gonna hold it up over our head. Making sure that you're dropping that back knee. Chest is tall. You're already almost there. Last one, and rest. We're gonna do the same exact thing again. This time, you're gonna try to hold the ball straight up over your head. Here we go. Ball or weight, whatever you got. So dropping that back knee down, big push off. All right, you only have five seconds left. That's it, last one right here. Hold, don't put it down. We're gonna do both of those one more time. Get ready, chest is up, and go. The ball is back in your chest. Make sure your back heel's coming off the ground. Woo! Such a good exercise right here. Woo. And rest. All right, next up. Overhead, start with the opposite foot that you just finished. Go. Hold that ball up right over your head. That's it, keep it up, eight seconds left. Breathe, three, two, one, rest. All right, you can put it down for a second. The next thing we're doing is same, same weight, unless you realize you need more weight and you're not that uh, out of breath. We're gonna squat, we're gonna toss the ball and catch it. If you don't have something you can toss, then you can hold it down between your legs and touch the ground. Here we go. Right here, set, and begin. Down, up. You're tossing it up, catching it, going right back into that squat. Trying to bring your elbows to your legs. Five more seconds. That's it, let's go, get low. Rest, hold it, do not put it down. We're doing the same thing again. Heart rate should be up. Here we go, and again. Keep that chest really tall. Woo, almost there. Three. 
one. Ah. All right, we're gonna change it to bicep curls with this weight. So for me, this is hard because it's wide. I have to hold on to it, ready? Up and down. Catch your breath, inhale, exhale. Try to extend those arms at the bottom. Five more seconds, a little rest, and then we repeat it all again. And rest. Woo. 10 seconds, catch your breath, get ready, and begin. 20 seconds again. Remember, you could be holding on to a weight or a kettlebell. Doesn't really matter what it is, as long as you have a challenge for your arms. Five more seconds left. That's it, you're almost there. And rest. Drop it for a second. All right, I'm gonna grab my 20 pound. So if you can handle more, you're gonna grab more, right? That's how it works. You gotta challenge your muscles. We're gonna do triceps. Okay, so we're gonna hold it overhead. We're gonna try to bring the handle towards behind our shoulder blades, our elbows stay pointed forward, down and up. Got okay, you ready? Straight up, feet are open a little bit, knees are soft, abs are in. Here we go, 20 seconds. See how many you could do in 20 seconds. Nice and controlled, chin off your chest. And rest, don't put it down. One more set. Get it set. Three, two, abs in, set it up, and go. 20 seconds, it goes by fast. You have 10 seconds left, that's it, come on.
it, that's it, you're almost there. Two, one, rest. All right, changing it up. I'm gonna pick up my ball. Again, it really only depends on the weight that you have. So we're gonna go shoulders now. We're gonna go straight out from the bottom. So from our hips, we're gonna lift it up, twist, center, and down. Okay, so you're gonna only do the one way because it's only 20 seconds. Second set, we'll do the other way. Here we go, ready? And lift, twist, and down. Up. Make sure your knees are soft. That's it, 10 more seconds. Keep it going. And rest. 20 seconds goes fast, right? All right, here we go. Second round, now you're twisting to the opposite side. Up, twist, over, down, up. Breathing of eight seconds left. Last one right here. Woo. All right, the next one, we're not gonna bring it down in between. We're just gonna go right, center, left, center. I think we could do it. Ready? Hold it up to the front and begin. Right, center, left, center. Try to get those arms as straight as you can. 10 more seconds. Woo! Five. Eight. One more. And rest. If you need a little rest, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do side lunges. You're gonna hold on to whichever one you choose is best for you for this exercise. We're gonna step over and bring that foot in. Step over, make sure you don't take too big of a step where you get stuck, right? So if you're moving your right leg, only your right leg is bending, your hips are going back, your opposite leg is staying straight. Here we go, over and up. Then move the ball towards your knee and then towards the opposite diagonal as you come up. That's it, come on. Five more seconds. And rest, we're doing the same side again. Get ready, same side. And go, down, up, down, up. Get those hips way back. 10 seconds, Woo. five, three, rest, get ready, other side, two rounds, and begin, over, up, over, up, One leg is really just going for the ride. It's just staying straight. Uh, last one. Rest. Uh, get ready, second set. Go. Come on. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one more. Rest. Woo. Oh, buggy smeared on my mat. That's lovely. All right, we're gonna do burpees. We're picking it up a little bit. So you can use your ball or whatever you want to use for this. We're gonna pick it up, press it up. It comes down with you. You jump or walk back, jump or walk back in. 20 seconds. Start with it in your hands. Set, here we go. Good 
put your hands on the ball. Depends on what you have. Make sure those legs are really wide. Five more seconds. Our rate should be up. Rest. We're gonna do that one three more times. That one's so good. Get ready. Go. Whoa. Almost lost it. Make sure if you're balancing on your ball that you have all your weight directly over it. Five seconds. Rest. And go. Let's go, let's go. Five seconds left. Press. Hold it. One more set of these burpees. We've got an extra five seconds rest. Set, go. So work hard, it's only 20 seconds. Five more. Last rep, last rep. Got a drink. All right, let's pick up your heavier option. That's not what was with you just now. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna do wide CA squat. Upright row at the top. Okay, so pick it up. You're gonna have two weights in your hands if they're eight and eight, 10 and 10. Here we go. Five seconds, remember toes are out, knees are gonna point out as you sit down. And begin, down, lift, down, lift. Do as many as you can get in in the 20 seconds with good form. Eight seconds left. Three, last one, awesome. All right, we're gonna do right leg curtsy. Hold it here, right leg curtsy, ready? Goes back, begin, right here. Try to do the pretty quick. Chest is tall, your foot goes back and over, front knee points forward. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Put it back in your hands. Wide feet. Get set. And begin. Down. Drive those elbows up. Keep your wrists low. All right, halfway. Ten more seconds. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one more. Hold it. Get ready for that opposite leg. Three seconds. Go. Over and up. Chest is tall, chest is tall. Ten seconds to go. Let's go, keep breathing, push through. And rest. Put down for a moment. Oh. All right, we're gonna try to do a little squat. And press up 
single arm. Single arm. So this weight is too heavy for you for one arm. This is gonna get hard for me. Change your weight if you have it. Otherwise, do the best you can. Here we go. Squat, press, squat. So you're pivoting about 90 degrees. <laughs> Exhale, 10 seconds. Switch arms. Ready. Other arms out for balance. Go. Only 20 seconds. Let's go. You're almost at the end. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Switch arms. Both arms one last time. Get it up there. Begin. One, two, three. Oh. Use your legs. Use your breath. Three, two, one. Switch arms. This is it. Last time. Uh -huh. You should be tired. Go. Nice straight back. Core is tight. Three. One more rep. One more rep. Good job. High fives. Boom. Nice deep breaths. Get a drink of water if you need it. But do not sit down, lie down, drop your head, drop your chest. You always want to safely recover, gradually cool down. So just tap it out a little bit. You made it. Give about three, four minutes of stretching to get in all those nooks and crannies of all of that movement, all of that hard work. Big rotation. Good, let's slide one arm down, the other arm comes up and over. Freeze and hold, make sure you're really stretching long. Switch sides, using your core always to come up. Don't just quickly jerk up or you're gonna feel it in your back. Come on up to the center. Turn your palms up to the sky. Lift up through your rib cage. Open up, feel the stretch. Exhale as you come up. Interlock your hands, tuck your chin, grasp your back. Let's do that one more time. This time, place your hands on your lower back, fingers pointing to the ground, so you can get a little bit deeper. Slowly come up. This time, if you want a little deeper stretch in your back, your neck, Grab hold of the insides of your legs, lift your chin, round your back, and pull. And slowly come on up. Let's lunge it over to the right side, taking that same, that opposite arm, rotating it around, letting it completely just hang there. Pivot 90 degrees, drop that back knee, reach those arms up, stretch that back hip towards the front. Straighten out that front leg, lift the toes, reach out, trying to really work on that hamstring. And come forward, slowly come through to the middle. 
down here for a moment. If your heart rate's still super high, then you wanna come up where your back is parallel with the ground. When you're ready, lunge over the other side. Let that arm dangle. Do some circles. And pivot 90 degrees, drop that back knee. Reach those arms up to the sky. Make sure that front knee is right over your ankle. And then straighten out that front leg, lift the toes up, walk those hands out. Really fight for that nice front leg to be straight. Otherwise, you're really not helping out your tight hamstrings if that's something you struggle with. Bring both knees together. Walking those hands forward just a little bit for that upward facing dog or that abdominal stretch. Nice and tall, pushing through those hands, shoulders away from the ears. And we're gonna sit back for a moment on those heels, hips to heels. Reach those hands out nice and long. Keep walking them forward, driving your shoulders towards Feel free to move in any direction that feels necessary right now, right this second. And when you're ready, take your time and just slowly roll it up. You're going to uncurl or curl your toes, walking your hands back so that you are hanging down here pressing your heels towards the ground. They might not be touching, but you will feel this really awesome stretch through your lower calf muscles, your Achilles area, the back of your ankles. So when you're ready, just shoot your hips up to the sky. Maybe open your feet a little bit. Relax your head. Sway side to side. When you're ready, nice and slow with a little bit of a knee bend, roll yourself up. Woo. Taking your time. Never wanting to feel dizzy when you get to the top because you came up too fast. So really always listen to your body. That is the best test to how much effort, how much recovery you need is to just really tune in and, and listen to your own body and what is going on at the present time. So take those shoulders, big roll back. You can maybe connect those fingers, open up again one more time, pulling the shoulders back to open up your chest to get back to that really great posture. And just reaching those hands down towards the ground. Let's take our ear and bring it down towards our shoulder. If you'd like a little deeper stretch, grab hold and gently pull and switch sides Perfect. and come up to neutral take all of that hard work in be proud of yourself for showing up and giving your best self every time this is a step in the right direction every time you complete a workout it is a part of the journey whether it was really on the easier side then you need to give more effort or it was super duper challenging you almost felt defeated but now you're here and you made it through so give yourself that pat on the back and be proud of yourself take all that in for a nice deep breath exhale i got a breeze at the same time clap it up amazing job Always remember, believe in yourself, your body is power. And I will see you for the next awesome sweaty workout. Great job.